Hello and welcome to another one of my custom action figure breakdown videos. Today we're going to take a look at uh, a twofer. This is my custom Days of Future Past Magneto and Wolverine. Um, these two are a lot of fun to make. Uh, they're very challenging and uh, as a result they are two of my favorite. Um, I've made a few others in this world as well that I'll be showing in another video. Uh, so make sure to check that out. Um, we'll start with Magneto here. Um, the base figure is a Netflix Daredevil, Mezco 112. Uh, anyone who collects Mezco, I'm sure, will recognize that right off the bat. Um, the head is a NECA David figure from Prometheus, uh, which is played by Michael Fassbender, uh, that I sanded the hair off, re-sculpted it with Ave's epoxy sculpt, and then painted. Uh, and then the pants, I believe, were just like a, a pair of slacks from GPS lot on eBay and then the the sort of like I don't know what you call these like kind of uh, gator buccaneer bell bottom thingies uh that he has on in the movie I made from like the lower part of a uh 112 Captain Kirk because he had those weird kind of 60s like capri pant things on um and then the shoes I think were probably uh a uh knockoff Joker Mezco Joker uh pair that I repainted black um, the helmet was from an old toy biz figure I don't know which magneto specifically it was it's it's flexible and rubbery um, and then I just repainted it um, and I and I set it up on this clear thing so it looked like it was floating in his hand you know when you've got light coming at it like that it's kind of uh, really highlights that the plastic is there but in the display you can't really see it and it looks pretty cool um, I've seen like the Hot Toys or, you know, some kind of knockoff or, you know, rather not knockoff, but third party version of this figure. And uh, it comes with a thing that does that. So I wanted to kind of mimic that. Um, the cape is the cape from a Toy Biz Lord of the Rings figure. I think it was like Boromir or, or something like that um, that I got just as part of a big lot of figures that I, I just wanted the horses that came with it <laughs> and, you know, came with all these other figures. So I've kind of found ways to use them as fodder uh, over the past couple of years. Um, and I wired it, of course. Uh, but again, perfect color for Magneto, and it, and it matched everything fairly well. Um, and then I, I made this sort of collar thing. I think that was probably the hardest part of this whole uh, figure, honestly, because um, I'm not a, a, you know, a tailor or a seamstress or whatever. I don't, know, I don't know how to sew, so it's a lot of just kind of, you know, BSing it till I get it right or as close to right as possible. Um, and then, uh, the base for this was the, uh, McFarlane lost Jack figure. So, uh, he comes like, you know, he's coming out of a plane crash and that's what it's mimicking. Um, it's a little bit better shot of it there. Um, so it's got all of this metal that's like sticking up and, uh, you know, from the, from the debris, the wreckage. And I just thought, like, that is so perfect for Magneto because it's already, you know, it looks like it's uh, levitating with him, like he's like he's calling it up. Um, so I was glad I held on to that. I bought it for the body uh, initially because I was just learning how to customize, and I, it was a suited body, and we all know how difficult those used to be to find. So uh, I thought I was going to, you know, make, like, a James Bond or a John Wick or something out of it. It was terrible for those purposes, and it was huge, so... I didn't end up using it, but uh, the base came in handy. So um, next, let's take a look at Wolverine here. Um, another one of my uh, favorite customs that I've done. Uh, you know, we all love Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, and uh, it's really cool to uh, have, you know, found a way to kind of make uh, a sort of testament to that, uh, you know, love of that character. Uh, forgive the shaky camera stuff while I get in position here. Um, so the base for this guy is a uh, Netflix Punisher, which I'm sure a lot of people will recognize. Um, the pants and, and the uh, the vest. Now the vest itself, um, I repainted black, of course, and um, I cut these like inserts out of it so that the yellow would pop through because that's what it looks like in the movie. Uh, the the shirt itself was uh, something from GPS lot, it's like one of those um, uh, just like kind of tight body fitting shirts that they have on there. 
Uh, for those unfamiliar, GPS Lot is a, a, an eBay seller that sells all kinds of 112 scale clothing, soft goods. So you can make a lot of customs with the stuff that they've got on there. Um, and then what I did was I took these iron on vinyl sheets that I bought uh, and, and cut them and uh, you know patterned them out so that I could make the yellow and black that you see like on the underside of his arms and his, the uh, anterior of his arms and whatnot. Um, the armor pieces are from a tactical Batman, the 112 Justice League version. Uh, and then these pieces on the forearms are from this same, uh, NECA David figure, uh, on the leg, they have this kind of like trim piece stuff on their spacesuits that I used. Um, so I try to use, you know, as much of a figure as I can, you know, it always feels a little wasteful, um, you're taking this figure that's perfectly good and you're chopping it up for your own purposes. And, uh, you know, eventually you're left with this like sort of carcass of an action figure that's no good to anybody. So I try to use the whole Buffalo as it were, you know, and get every piece in there, uh, to, to be something and something else. So it doesn't just end up in a landfill later. Um, so that's what those are. The hands are from a, a, uh, Mezco X-Force Wolverine. Uh, which is another figure that again is just like missing his hands now. So I'll, I'll find a use for him later on down the road. Um, the, uh, the top part of the vest here, this textured part, uh, is something that I wanted to match to the movie and I thought about sculpting it, but that would have been kind of a pain and getting, getting the, the Aves epoxy sometimes to stick to a surface like this is just really difficult and you don't know how long it's going to, adhere to it you know if it might fall off in a couple years or something so what i ended up using was again i have all these uh neca agent or officer k figures from blade runner that i got for various customs um and so i'll have leftover parts like his sweater so i just you know it's a it's like a knit textured sweater so i just cut those out to to fit and then i glued them on and painted them um the uh the knee pad things and the boots are also from that NECA David figure. Um, again, you know, trying to use all the pieces and also it, it was really the best approximation without me having to just sculpt something from whole cloth. Like it, it was pretty close. I mean, if you look up the, the costume for the movie, like, uh, you know, this is very passable for those. So I just decided to go with that, um, uh, cause it's close enough. Um, and then the head, the head, I searched high and low for the right head for this figure, you know, trying to find a, a Wolverine head that would fit this body proportionately. Uh, I found a couple that were either too small or too big uh, from various people online, or, you know, one was like a Diamond Select, the Wolverine. I think it was probably an overseas knockoff that I found on eBay for cheap. And I got it, and it was a great head sculpt, you know, the right haircut, but too big. Um, and ultimately, I decided to go with this one because I just like this look for Wolverine anyway, and um, I thought it was a good compromise. Um, painting this one was a lot of fun. You know, I, as I mentioned in my Geralt video, uh, that's on the channel here, my custom Geralt of Rivia, when these head sculpts come in a flesh tone, you know, I, I really don't see the need to, to hit them with like a gray primer and then paint a new flesh tone on it. What I like to do is just go in and embellish what's already there with, you know, different like reds and pinks and browns and stuff like that to, to give it depth and, uh, you know, flesh it out a lot more. Um, especially because, you know, like if you get a head from Ash action figure customs on Instagram slash eBay, like I did, uh, you know, most of us get heads from him. I think he's a, he's a, you know, fantastic resource for this, uh, community. Um, he does a really good job of like, I don't know if he's mixing this resin to get that color or if it's just that color, but it's generally like spot on with, you know, the body you're using. Um, so I like to just, you know, let that uh, come through and save myself some time and effort. And I think it's just a better finished look overall. Like it looks a lot more like, you know, actual skin when you're, you're painting sort of like little flecks of, of, you know, like freckles and stuff on there. Uh, so uh, yeah, and then the hair was, you know, pretty basic. Like I, I found a, a, a mix of a color that I liked and then I hit it with a lighter color as a dry brush to highlight it. I don't know how well, how well it's showing up here, but... Um, you know, to the naked eye, it, it turned out pretty good. Um, and then of course the Molotow Chrome pen I used for these little rivets on the, the vest just to kind of make those pop out. Um, yeah. And that is, uh, that's this Wolverine. So, 
Um, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about what I used or you know anything I didn't cover, feel free to drop them in the comments below and I will be happy to answer. Um, you know, I don't like to hoard this information. I, I think a lot of customizers uh, and people just in this hobby in general like to kind of play it close to the vest and they like to tell people what they used or where they got it or that kind of thing. And I, you know, I get that, but I, to me, I just want everyone to have fun and enjoy this. And I think we all get to do that more if, if you know, when you answer a question, hey man, where'd you get that head? If the, if the poster on Instagram or whatever responds and says, oh, I got it from so-and-so. Um, you know, because ultimately like, yeah, I could give someone this exact recipe and if they want to copy it, they could. Uh, a lot of people won't because they just are lazy or whatever. You know what I mean? So there's there's a ton of reasons why uh, you could hoard that information. And there's a ton of reasons why you could share it. And I like to share it because um, I think that, you know, w when, when one of us succeeds, we all do. Um, so, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll always answer any questions you have. Um, you know, I'm happy to talk about any of that stuff. Um, I am a comic book writer and artist by trade, and I've got um, several books out. Uh, at the moment, two of which I'm, I'm most proud of are the books Count and Retroactive. Um, Retroactive comes out in April of 2022. I'm currently running a, a giveaway promotion. Uh, if you pre-order the book, uh, you'll be entered to win one of like dozens of prizes. Uh, I've got signed book plates. I've got other autographed comics and, and graphic novels. I've got t-shirts. We've got original art pages. Um, so definitely check that out. Uh, There'll be a little bumper at the end of this video for it, uh, as well as probably a trailer for the book. Um, I've got trailers for the other books on my on my page, as well as my other custom videos. I'm doing a series of, of vehicle customizations that are 112 scale or thereabouts. Um, so be sure to check those out. You know, like, comment, subscribe. Um, and uh, as, uh, as always, keep that head on swivel.